world will know that free men stood against a tyrant, that few stood against many. Hello, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, my current settings for uh, DCS with the uh, current update uh, 2.8. I have a couple questions from users asking me, uh, hey, how this game looks so good with the 1080 uh, Ti. So uh, here's how uh, I have my settings. I've been using this uh, video card for at least five years and still working pretty well. Um, I don't know why uh, uh, some people say that um, it's all and unreliable and all that stuff, but uh, for me it's working pretty well. So uh, let me start with the uh, settings for the video card. So I have it right here. So I have a, a personal uh, setting for the fans. That's all I changed to have a maximum when I'm playing. That's the current temperature because the game is not running. And uh, this is what I have. If we have a 1080 Ti, I don't know who has it these days, but I don't have the money to uh, get the um, you know the good ones. So one day I'll get a good one, but. So far, this one's working okay. So let me minimize this. And uh, here are my uh, NVIDIA settings. So uh, through the years, people have recommended uh, settings to uh, the game. So I have uh, selected the settings and just special settings for DCS. So this is what I got. You see the bold letters are the ones that have a change to it. So you can see NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 is an ASUS. Uh, Prefer maximum performance uh, on clamp, the low bias clamp and high performance. Just keep it on high performance and that's about it. And then I went to global settings and kind of duplicated that and I have the same about the same stuff climb high performance so I go real slow so you can see and uh, let me go back down there you go so let me close that and uh, now here I have um, the open composite but this video is just gonna be about steam VR so these are the Steam VR settings. So I got it disabled. So Steam VR will launch. And I have the uh Open XR toolkit also disabled. So Open XR doesn't kick in when I launch the game and allow Steam VR to take over. So I'm gonna launch Steam. Okay, so here's Steam. Uh, I have it in a, a view, which is a large mode and small mode, so I have it in small. So I'm gonna put it over here. And before I launch the game, I'm gonna launch my uh, headset. So this resolution right now is, um, let me show you uh, over here. I'm gonna bring it over here. So that's the resolution which is recommended. When I launch the uh, the headset, I have it set up to 1240 by 720. So the resolution of the screen is going to go very low because I don't use it. So uh, that way the GPU just concentrate all its power into DCS. So here you go. You're going to see the all the weird tweaks and changes. And there is there's my screen, really big. And now the resolution is uh, it should be a lot lower. There you go, sixteen hundred by nineteen hundred. That's what I had it before. Sorry. So yeah, but it, it is it is lower than what they recommend. That way, there will be more power into uh, DCS. And the other thing is here the settings um, on the headset display. Uh, I have set to 60 megahertz because the camera that I use to record um, 
doesn't have 90 uh, megahertz to record is uh, it flickers if I set this to 90 uh, megahertz the screen will flicker the entire time I'm recording so when I play by myself just just for fun I use 90 megahertz and it looks even better so for recording purposes when I'm posting games I use 60 megahertz stutter sometimes but it's it's okay it's playable so let me minimize this and now here we go I'm gonna uh, play the game so I'll catch up with you when that game is up and running okay so here's the uh, the game the headset is uh, connected but you can see the resolution is pretty bad so uh, before we go into the game let me show you the settings in uh, Steam VR so this is what I did put it all the way to the bottom 20% so it's about that so everything else is the same but the resolution per eye went all the way down so that's that now let's go back into the game and uh, let me go into settings see if I can zoom in real quick there you go so you can see here the uh, the settings right there these are the settings recommended again again by people you know all over the place through the years this is what has worked for me let me see if I can keep it still there so terrain water so this is what works the best for me and on this side there you go you can see that and then when I go here to VR uh, right there the pixel density is all the way up to 1.3 so that is it so let me zoom back out of here and uh, I'm gonna launch a mission real quick and I'll see you when it's up and running Launch 
bar up and refueling probe retracted. Now let's go outside for surface test and flight controls test. Okay, now I'm gonna contact the tower and we'll be ready to go. Sushi, Chevy, one, one, request taxi to runway. Yeah, it stutters a little bit, but it then it catches back up. But uh, most of the time, it's pretty smooth. Again, it's not perfect, but it's pretty acceptable. I'm almost getting closer to the runway. And uh, yeah, everything's good. Outside again. And uh, this is me moving the mouse. So uh, it's not uh, stuttering of the game, it's just my hand not being steady. And back inside and ready for takeoff. So this is the end of this TVR settings. Uh, you can see the ground is moving pretty fluently, pretty good. So I uh, will do the OpenXR settings on the next video.